Getting into a relationship can be quite easy and many times we tend to be impulsive in choosing our life partners. When you are in a relationship, situations might arise and cause you to doubt if you're doing the right thing or if you're with the right person. As believers, getting God's approval and seal on our relationship is very important, so we would want to know if a person is God's will for us. This assures us even when things are not going smoothly, because you know God is in charge, and if He's in charge, nothing can go wrong. Here are five ways to discern if you are with the right partner in a relationship. The relationship glorifies God. Everything that God created is for His pleasure and should bring Him glory, our relationships included. What you do in and with your relationship matters a lot and goes a long way to say if God is involved in that relationship or not. The first thing you want to check is the state of your spiritual life since you got involved with that person. Are you getting better in your Christian walk of faith as a result of your union or has it been a form of distraction that you cannot seem to overcome? The Bible says, iron sharpens iron, and that should be the case in your relationship. If that person is the will of God for you, then they will strengthen your walk with God, help you grow in faith and build you in every other aspect and vice versa. If that is not happening, it's either that they are not the right person for you, or you're getting things wrong. Besides, what you do in the relationship is also an indication of whether you are meant to be according to God's will or not. What activities do you partake in together? Do you pray together? Study the Bible? Discuss important and life-changing issues? Are you both committed to self-development and seeing each other's progress? Do you both have a mind to remain pure and keep the relationship intact until marriage? If you are on the same page in these issues, then it's a sign that you are in God's will. As much as there will be physical attraction between the both of you in that relationship, there should be no indulging in sexual activity. That kind of relationship does not glorify God and sooner or later would cause a break in your relationship with God. You should know that your walk with God is more important than who you marry or end up with eventually. This is one reason God is very specific when it comes to choosing a life partner. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 to 18, we should not be equally yoked with unbelievers. Yet, even among believers, there is a need to be careful because many are wolves and come in sheep clothing and are there to deceive and make a prey of God's children. You cannot afford to be deceived, especially when it comes to the choice of a spouse, knowing that whoever you end up with can either make or break you. And it's not difficult to discern these signs. No matter how pretentious a person may be, you will soon begin to see if they are God's will for you or not. It's wise not to neglect these red flags when you begin to notice them. The fruit does not fall far from the tree, and as the Bible says, by their fruits you shall know them. Does that person bear the fruit of the Spirit? Does the fruit of the Spirit find expression in your relationship as well? Emphasis is being laid on this particular point because it is the crux of a relationship that is God's will. If your relationship does not glorify God and is not according to His plans, then there is no point pursuing it. If it does, then you know you have got it right and can proceed. You are at peace. The peace of God that you experience in a relationship is a confirmation that you are in His will for your life. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit that guides you in making decisions and doing the right thing. God speaks to His children in different ways, through the audible voice, the still small voice, and the witness of the Holy Spirit. All of these are subject to the confirmation of God's Word written in the Scriptures. They can never contradict one another. One of the things a believer should look out for is the peace of God in whatever they do. It is a peace that passes all understanding and will guide your heart and mind. You will not only experience peace in the relationship, but also have peace about the relationship. Speaking of peace in the relationship, that means your partner does not rile you up or keep you on the edge all the time. They are not 
the nagging type, constantly seeing faults or making you feel insecure. With this kind of a person, you can feel at home because they become a kind of resting place from the troubles of the day. Then there is also peace in the relationship. This means that you're not stressed or bothered by other circumstances that would normally stand as obstacles. You are quite sure that this person is meant for you and so the relationship is meant to be. Situations might arise such as parental disapproval, career differences, geographical location and distance but when you have peace about the relationship, you know that all these will be sorted out in time and so you have no cause to be worried. The peace of God, coupled with the absence of anxiety, fear or worry, is a strong confirmation that you are in the right relationship. You love each other. This is very important in any relationship. Without love, there should be no talk about relationship in the first place. It should be the bedrock and foundation for the relationship to grow. Remember that love is a fruit of the Spirit. In fact, it is in love that all other fruits of the Spirit find expression. God will never ask you to go into a relationship with someone that does not love you, claiming that is His will for your life. Never! If your pastor or anyone tries to match you with someone who does not love you in the name of God's will, you had better run. Otherwise, that will be the beginning of a life of misery and sorrow. If you are in a relationship where your partner only tolerates you, you should move on. You are not to be merely tolerated, you deserve more than that. And if someone does not see that, it means they are not meant for you, or they just do not deserve you. God created you intentionally, fearfully and wonderfully. He loves you so much and would only give you someone who loves you as a partner. And love is not just in words alone, but in deeds. Love is patient, kind, long-suffering and enduring. Love is sacrificial. It forgives and does not keep records of wrong. It is supportive and loves to keep the peace. Is your partner any of these things? Did they exhibit any of these attributes? And even more importantly, is the love mutual? There is no joy in a one-sided love in a relationship. As much as we cannot always assume the same level of love and affection, it should be such that the gap is not obvious. If you love each other and are ready to give to make the relationship work, then you are meant to be with each other. It's a sign of God's seal and approval on the relationship. You complement and support each other. Your partner should be someone who compliments you. In areas where you're weak, they would strengthen you and vice versa. The Bible says the two shall come together and become one flesh. Your coming together in a relationship should be a source of strength and not a form of distraction or bring about weaknesses. A partner who is God's will for your life should be someone whom you can boldly say is the flesh of your flesh and bone of your bones. This is because they bring completeness to your life that has been hitherto missing. So, your God-given partner is one with whom you can walk on the journey of life. Fight battles together and know that they will always be there for you. These are signs you should start watching out for early in the relationship. Are they dependable, reliable and trustworthy? Can you count on them any time of the day? If they would not be there for you now, nothing will change that in the future. It will only get worse as time goes by. If your partner is someone whom you can rely on, someone who supports you and pushes you to become better, not only spiritually but in other areas of your life, you are in the right place. God has made even the body of Christ in such a way that we are meant to complement each other. Since nobody is complete or perfect on their own, it is God's way of bringing us to a point of perfection. If this is present in your relationship, then that relationship is God's will. You have the approval of people around you. Sometimes God speaks to us through the people in our lives. It could be your parents, your pastors, your friends and others. When people approve of your relationship with a particular person, it could also be a way to discern that you 
are on the right path. Because it's easy to be blinded by love and not see the faults of our partners initially. It becomes wise to seek the opinion of trusted individuals whom we know will lead us right. You should know that in the multitude of counsellors, there is safety.